Hello everyone and welcome back to Medium of the Light Tarot. This is Davita. We're going to be doing another pick a card daily guidance. <clears throat> so for me it's one, two, and three. And of course when you're looking at the camera it looks like it should be like this, but hey, it's one, two, three. So this is the Light Seer's um, Tarot with Amethyst. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is the Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot with the Rose Quartz and the Alchemical Tarot with the beautiful Fluorite. So go ahead and take a minute and pick which one. Um, <clears throat> since this is a timeless read, you can come and watch one and then put which one you watched in the description or the comments and then if you find yourself back here, you can either pick the other ones that you did not pick for the day's guidance or pick the same one if you're called to. All right. I'm going to be using Oracle cards as well. Let's start off with <clears throat> the Daily Optimisms. What is today's energy for the amethyst crowd? Your sense of freedom will come from embracing the upside of life. So it's important to be positive today. Now these have already been pre-shuffled. What is the energies for today? <clears throat> so you'll be experiencing some kind of an ending today. This is the Ten of Swords. Or you might be reflecting on an ending that happened. Maybe lamenting about a, a family member, love situation. And taking some time for yourself, doing some recuperating. It might be kind of a recuperation sort of a day. And the hermit, yeah, this is all about, um, this is suggesting that, hey, you need to, you know, stay with a positive attitude and look on the upside of life. But it looks like the tendency for the day is going to be um, looking into the past or licking your wounds from a recent ending, but don't forget endings or beginnings and going within. And then the hermit is yet going within even further. So this might be a very self-reflecting kind of day. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. Let's take some more Oracle cards and see what else. Sensitivity, the Archangel Hamael. You are extra sensitive to energies and emotions right now. Honor yourself and your feelings. It's a beautiful card. You can see it without a glare. We'll have this be a very meditative day for you. Be easy on yourself, be gentle, and try to focus on the upside of things, okay? Thanks for joining me. And have a good day. <clears throat> Just shuffling this one to make sure that it is fresh for the next bunch. All right. So we're going to deck number two with the rose quartz. What is today's energies? And these have already been pre-shuffled. So make sure that if um, you find yourself back in this um, video that you realize that you can go down to the comments put your comments in from the first time you were here and say which pile you did 
and then you'll know which one to either um, not include in your choices or actually watch it that one again if you're feeling called to. So use your intuition. So we've got strength. We've got a king of pentacles. And a fool. So it looks like today you are going to be experiencing um, having having strength and feeling passionate about something. And um, the king of pentacles, you are... For some, of, for some of you, you are the King of Pentacles, where you have achieved what you want, you're feeling very satisfied, and then for others of you, you are dealing with someone who is a King of Pentacles, someone who's got it all together, someone who's very self-assured and abundant, and then the third card is the Fool card, so you're going to be feeling like a new beginning, a new start today, okay? Let's see... What does the oracles have to tell us? What are your choices costing you? And let's take out this one. This is the different sign. So this is a sign that you might be experiencing today. Or the energies, it's the Pisces. And it looks like we're going to take out this one as well. <clears throat> this is, excuse me, the Goddess Oracles. So this is about home. It's Vesta. Your home situation is improving either through a move or a healthy change in the occupants. So having strength, having a new start. So maybe someone is leaving your home or moving in or just having the drama stop. So this is a good indication of what the day's energies are going to be like. I hope that this was helpful. If it resonates with you, please leave me a comment, like, share, and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate that. And I will see you on the next video. I'm just going to shuffle these to keep these fresh for the next crew for deck number three. These ones are a little too small to be shuffling. And we'll use this, so we're gonna do this one as well. <clears throat> All right, so deck number three with the fluorite. This is the alchemical tarot. What is the energies for today for card number three? Now, please remember, put your comment down below on which pile you chose. And then if you find yourself back at this one looking for guidance for today, then you can know which one you've already picked. And if you feel called to that same one, do it. But if you don't, then you know you can pick the other two. Because there is no coincidence when you find yourself on a video. So we've got the moon card. The Nine of Swords. So it looks like you're feeling like you are working, um, trying to work through some battle and that something isn't being revealed to you. And the Ace of Pentacles. So there's going to be communication coming in. You feel like you're ending a battle, um, especially with this card. You're just about to make the kill, so to speak. And then whatever um, <clears throat> dark thoughts or things that you think are being kept from you will be reveal revealed with this communication with the, um, the Ace of Pentacles. And this one flew out. So this is kind of like the crowning glory where choices are yours. So after this, these secrets and then the, the finalizing of the final blow, 
getting this communication will bring you some clarity. So let's see. Oh, okay. So they were saying to take this off the bottom. This is um, Sarasvati, Sarasvati, I think I'm saying it correctly. It's the arts. Express yourself through creative activities. So maybe go do something creative today. Get your mind off this, because this is gonna kind of take care of itself. You don't really have to be too involved. It'll be just like, it's already been set in motion. Then you're gonna get the communication and then the, the knowledge of what these secrets were about. So go and have some fun, have some lighthearted um, creative activity. Let's see, I'm being called to do this one. What is today's guidance? Competing goals, bothersome details, conflict with others. So this does go back to what we were talking about here. Um, but like I said, this has already been in the works. So go and do some art. Go and do something creative. Go do something lighthearted. Okay? And being called to take one of these. This is um, who might be involved in the situation, Taurus. So let me know if this resonates with you. I hope that you have a lovely day. And um, I will see you on the flip side with Davida at Medium of the Light Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye-bye.